Have you ever wondered where the universe ends? A question that has sparked curiosity in the minds of thinkers, scientists, and dreamers alike. We are about to embark on a journey to the edge of the universe, a concept as fascinating as it is perplexing. Just like the edge of a map or the boundary of a video game, the universe too may have its limits. But unlike these familiar edges, the universe's edge isn't a place where you'd fall off or bump into a wall. It's an edge that's not an edge, a boundary that's not a boundary. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of space and time and stretches our imagination to its limits. We're about to venture into the realms of the unknown, into theories and ideas that will challenge what we know and understand about our universe. We'll explore the enigmatic, the profound, and the simply astounding. So let's dive into the mystery of the universe's edge. Before we explore the edge, we must first comprehend what the universe is. So, what is the universe? The universe, in its simplest definition, is everything that exists. This includes all matter, energy, planets, stars, galaxies, and even the space itself. An almost inconceivable vastness that holds a multitude of galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars. Imagine this. If you were to count each grain of sand on Earth, the number would still fall short of the number of stars in the universe. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? But that's the scale we're dealing with when we talk about the universe. Now, let's delve a bit deeper. Most scientists agree that the universe came into existence about 13.8 billion years ago through an event we now call the Big Bang. Picture the universe, not as something that exploded into existence, but rather something that rapidly expanded from an incredibly hot and dense point, almost like a balloon being inflated. Since that moment, the universe has been expanding, moving galaxies further apart over time. It's a little like raisins in a loaf of bread dough. As the dough rises, the raisins move farther apart. Similarly, as the universe expands, galaxies move farther apart from each other. But here's the thing, the universe's expansion is accelerating. That means galaxies are not just moving apart, they're moving apart faster and faster. This acceleration is thought to be driven by a mysterious form of energy known as dark energy. But that's a topic for another time. What's more, our universe might be infinite. The idea of infinity is tricky, especially when applied to physical reality. If the universe is infinite, it has no edge. If it has no edge, there's no clear-cut answer to where the edge of the universe is. Now that we have a basic understanding of the universe, let's explore its edge. It's a journey that will take us far beyond our own Milky Way into the vast expanse of the cosmos. So, strap in and let's embark on this cosmic adventure together. The universe we can see is known as the observable universe. This is our cosmic bubble, a sphere around us from which we've received light and other signals because, after all, the universe isn't older than its age, roughly 13.8 billion years. You might wonder, why is this important? Well, it's because of a cosmic speed limit known as the speed of light. Light travels at a staggering speed of 186,000 miles per second. This means that when we look at distant objects in the universe, we're actually seeing them as they were in the past. Let's imagine for a moment. When you're observing a star that's one light year away, you're seeing the light that left that star one year ago. So in essence, you're looking back in time. This concept applies to everything we see in the universe. The farther we gaze, the further back in time we look. Now couple this with another mind-boggling fact. The universe is constantly expanding. That's right. Every second, every minute, galaxies are moving away from us, stretching the fabric of the universe itself. This expansion limits our view even further. So, 
The observable universe is not just about what we can see right now, but also about what we could have potentially seen if the universe hadn't been expanding. It's a sphere with a radius of about 46.5 billion light years. However, this doesn't mean that's all there is. The actual size of the universe may be infinitely larger, perhaps even infinite. But due to the finite speed of light and the expansion of the universe, there are regions of the universe from which light hasn't had enough time to reach us. Beyond this observable universe lies the edge we are seeking. And that's where our journey takes us next, to the very edge of the known and the unknown, to the very edge of the universe. Where exactly is this elusive edge? Picture this. You're on a journey sailing across an ocean. As far as the eye can see, there's nothing but water. You might think there's an edge, a boundary, a place where the sea ends. But does it really end? Or does it just merge into another realm, becoming one with the sky at the horizon? This analogy is quite like our quest to find the edge of the universe. In the realm of cosmology, the universe is often seen as an incomprehensibly large sea of galaxies, stars, and cosmic dust. But where does it all end? Is there a precipice where everything just stops? Well, the answer is not as straightforward as you might imagine. Many scientists believe that the universe doesn't have a conventional edge, a boundary where everything ceases to exist. Instead, they propose that there's a shift in space-time. Imagine blowing up a balloon. As you inflate it, every point on the balloon's surface moves away from every other point. Now consider the universe as the surface of that balloon. No matter where you are on this surface, it appears as if everything else is moving away from you. This is much like the expansion of the universe. But where does the balloon end? Does it have an edge? The answer is no. The balloon, like the universe, is boundless. It simply continues curving, with no definitive end point. And just like the balloon, our universe is thought to be curved, likely into a shape that has no beginning or end. So the edge of the universe isn't an edge in the traditional sense. It's not a precipice or a wall. It's not a place where you can stand and peer into the abyss of nothingness. It's a concept, an idea that space and time continue to curve and change, creating an endless cosmic ocean. The edge of the universe is therefore not a physical boundary, but a concept of space and time. But what if our universe is not the only one out there? Welcome to the realm of the multiverse theory, a concept that takes our understanding of the cosmos and flips it on its head. This theory suggests that our universe, with its galaxies, stars and planets, might just be one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws. Imagine a cosmic Russian doll. Inside each doll, there's another, slightly different, and so on, ad infinitum. That's the multiverse for you. Each universe within this multiverse could have different laws of physics, different dimensions, even different kinds of matter. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? This theory, while still speculative and highly debated, is rooted in real science. It comes from a branch of theoretical physics known as string theory, which suggests that fundamental particles are not zero-dimensional points, but one-dimensional strings. In string theory, there are many more dimensions than the three of space and one of time that we are familiar with. These extra dimensions could be home to other universes, hence the multiverse. Now, where does this leave the edge of the universe? If the multiverse theory is correct, our universe may not have an edge in the traditional sense. Instead, the edge could be a boundary between our universe and the next. It's like standing on the shoreline of an ocean. You might think you're at the end of the world, but beyond that horizon, there's another world waiting to be discovered. So, the concept of an edge becomes fluid and relative. It's not the edge of everything, but rather the edge of our understanding, the limit 
of what we can observe and comprehend. And beyond that edge? Well, there could be another universe with its own stars, galaxies, and perhaps its own edges. So, the edge of our universe could be the beginning of another. Who knows? The multiverse theory opens up a realm of possibilities that challenges our understanding of the cosmos, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can imagine. The edge of the universe is a concept that continues to baffle scientists. After our journey through the cosmos, we've come to understand that this edge is not a precipice one might stumble over, but rather a fascinating shift in space-time. It's a concept that's as mind-bending as it is awe-inspiring. As we've explored, the observable universe is just a small fraction of the grand cosmic stage. Beyond our sight, the universe may continue indefinitely, or perhaps it curves back onto itself. We've also delved into the captivating multiverse theory, the idea that our universe might be just one among countless others, each with its own laws of physics. The notion of the universe's edge challenges our perception of reality, pushing us to ponder the infinite and the infinitesimal. While we may not have a definitive answer, the quest to find the universe's edge continues to push the boundaries of our understanding and imagination.